Today I'm going to show you how to do a compression test on a Mustang GT 4.6. This is an 03, but it's basically the same on any of your early model 4.6s up to 04. It's uh, going to be the same. I, I recently just bought this and uh, it's been set for about four years and uh, it runs and drives. It's got a misfire, which I'm sure it's a cool pack. So I figured um, while well, I had all the cool packs out, going to replace them, put new plugs in it, might as well do a compression test, see what kind of health the engine's in. Now when doing your compression test, your lowest compression number has to be within 75% of your highest I'll try to include a uh, a chart showing what it needs to be and what ranges uh, in the video let's jump in there. let's get it done now for this job you're gonna need a compression tester obviously and uh, a seven millimeter for your cool hold down bolts and a 5 8 socket and extension for your spark plugs that's all you're going to need <laughs> I'm going to start by unplugging them there's a little tab right here Just push it in and it releases Remove all my bolts. Sometimes when you go to pull your cools out, sometimes the boots get stuck on the plugs. And a lot of times if you just be careful and just keep moving around, it'll eventually come loose. But sometimes they, they just, they're stuck and you can't do nothing for it. And you rip the boot. But if your cools are okay and you're not replacing them, you can get just the boots, which if they're if they have any age on them at all I would recommend replacing all the boots while you're in there anyway because they're notorious for swelling up cracking and letting water and stuff get down in there a lot of times people go to replace the cools thinking it's the cool bad but it's really just a boot just a little quick tip it's like that one See, it's got a little bit of water down in it, moisture. And see, this one's doing the same thing. And a lot of times you can get lucky too when your boot sticks. Go ahead and pull your, your cool and your wire out and then stick a screwdriver down in there and twist it around work it around a lot of times it'll break loose and come out after you get all your coals out take your spark plug socket start breaking all your plugs loose I 
That's why they're coming out. Wow, that one wasn't even top. That one wasn't either. Been a bad day if they all came out, came loose. Make sure you have the 14 long reach because the standard one will not, it won't work. But most of the time you get these with the kit. Remember, five times with the throttle wide open. Now look at your compression. Looks like this one is 200. And then write it down. Same thing again. Two hundred again. pretty good compression for that's pretty good compression for something with almost 200,000 miles on it That one's one ninety. <sighs> Two oh five. Now we have all of our measurements for this side. Let's go do the other side. I'm gonna remove your intake tube, flat head screwdriver, or eight millimeter. There's a clamp right here and a clamp down here. Pull your hoses straight out. Once again, grab your seven millimeter, remove all your cool bolts. Plug all your cools. Then remove your cools.
Now you might need a swivel for your number three, or if you don't have a swivel, you'll have to loosen up your fuel rail, move it up out of the way. Two hundred. Instead one eighty. I'm gonna double check that one to make sure. Number two is one eighty five. Seventy five. Nani. Okay, our highest compression is going to be the two oh five. And our lowest is going to be one seventy five fifty four. Give or take a half a pound. So, 
We're safe. We're good to go. Different, but hey, it's within spec, so that's okay. <laughs> now, my plans for this motor is the reason I was checking compression to make sure it was healthy. Is this Mustang is completely stock, it ain't got nothing done to it. So, first thing I wanted to do is make sure I had a good motor to start out with. If not, I was going to build it, but I think I'm going to wait till next year. But what I want to do, or what I want to do, is get a set of cams, uh, maybe have the head port and polished, get a set of long tube headers, off-road X-pop, and a uh, cold air intake, and eventually I'm going to go with a Pro Charger later on down the road. That's my plans. I got this car at a really good deal. So, I got plenty of room to spend money on it. But, well guys, that's going to be it for tonight. There's your basic how-to on how to run a compression test on your 4.6 Mustang. Now, thanks for watching. Have a good night.